Welcome to Kermode Uncut. You probably read a couple of weeks ago in the paper about the death of Dick Smith, the legendary makeup artist. He worked on Little Big Man with Dustin Hoffman. He turned Dustin Hoffman into a 121 year old man. He worked on The Godfather. He did that extraordinary aging effect on Marlon Brando to turn him into the older Don Vito Corleone. He worked, of course, on The Exorcist and he won an Oscar for his work on Amadeus. One of his protégés was Rick Baker, now a very, very famous makeup artist, who said about Dick Smith that he bridged the gap between makeup work and special effects work. There were very few filmmakers who didn't work with Dick Smith. Ken Russell, of course, worked with him on Altered States. I often think that Dick Smith's work on Altered States is kind of forgotten about. Ken Russell and Dick Smith had a slightly fractious relationship, partly because apparently Ken Russell changed around the order of the transformation makeups that Dick Smith had done, but I still think it's a wonderful film, and Dick Smith's work in it is absolutely terrific. The most extraordinary thing about The Exorcist, of course, is that everybody talks about the demon makeup, about the way in which he transformed Linda Blair into this demonic manifestation. What fewer people remember is that in many of those exorcism sequences, there is more makeup on the face of Max von Sydow than there is Linda Blair. Max von Sydow was a middle aged man playing the aging Father Marion. He is now close enough to the age of Father Marion, but back then he required a lot of makeup to turn him into the aging priest. There's also a wonderful story about his collaboration with Marcel Vecuter, who did all the, the mechanical effects. And Marcel Vecuter and Dick Smith worked very closely together on that film. Dick Smith was a really extraordinary talent. And when we made The Fear of God, the documentary about the Exodus back in 1998, we spoke to him about his work. I thought this would be a good opportunity just to remember the genius of Dick Smith by hearing a little bit of that interview. A makeup artist gets a great thrill changing someone's face because in a sense he is creating a new living creature. I was faced with the problem of making this 12 year old little girl, very pretty little girl with apple cheeks and a butterball nose, make her into a demon. And it was an incredible challenge. God bless Dick Smith. Um, I certainly nothing could have prepared anybody for what that experience was going to be. First, he had to do the casting of the face. He created different makeups, which we tested. I think it was six different, all different makeups. The very first one I did was a all-out witchy makeup with a black wig and bushy eyebrows, and it was terrible. But it proved one thing, and that was that I could take this round face and make it look pretty horrible. So then it was a matter of kind of backtracking, and I tried. There were several other more moderate makeups. There was one that seemed to be promising. We filmed it, and Billy said, it's no good. It doesn't work. One day, I had the thought that the disfiguration that res results in her face should come from something that Reagan did to herself. The cuts became kind of raised welts or scars, but I placed them very strategically. Almost like nightmarish shapes, but all growing out of the idea that she scarred herself with the crucifix, and these are gangrenous sores. And I changed her mouth. I thickened the upper lip, and I made, gave her a thick, distorted, cracked lower lip that kind of drooped over to one side, and that twisted her mouth. He was tough, but it was very stimulating. He drove me to some of the best work that I'd, ever, that I'd done up to that time. Dick Smith, talking in 1998 about his extraordinary work on The Exorcist.